So these are the results of uh, that simulation using the uh, standard rotational spring entity with the nonlinear stiffness spline. And so we can see that uh, the spring entity is simulating the actual spring. So um, now we kind of move on to uh, increasing the fidelity of the spring modeling. And um, we can do this using Recordine FLEX, which is uh, short for full flex. Um, <clears throat> and so what's, um, what we can do here is uh, mesh the uh, uh, flexible, we can mesh the spring geometry as a flexible body um, using a finite element analysis techniques. And um, in full flex, all the nodes have their own degrees of freedom and um, the mass and, and inertial effects are fully included in the model. Um, the mesh can be created in Recordine using the internal FLEX mesher, which is what I used in this case to model, to mesh this spline. And uh, so now if we want to sort of include that uh, level of fidelity um, or close to it, and, and if we, if we want to have um, sort of better, faster simulations, uh, we can use the multi-mass spring toolkit in Recordine. And so this basically allows, this toolkit allows analysts to include this high fidelity spring modeling, um, including the mass and inertia of the spring coils, as well as contact between the coils. And um, there are multiple uh, uh, model types available for the spring toolkit. Uh, there are about four different types, but um, in this case, uh, we're going to cover what's called the, the type D. Um, so for faster simulations, what this toolkit does is it uh, automates the um, construction of these segmented uh, spring bodies, which are, are rigid bodies. And, and then the rigid bodies are connected with beam forces to represent the stiffness of the spring.